Hey guys, Jamie here. Uh, welcome to a quick, another quick pickup video. I, I've got today nothing, just nothing much, just DVD, three DVDs and a couple of shirts. So I'll do the DVDs last. I'll show you the shirts first. There's really not much here. It's yeah. There's four shirts, although this one isn't mine. But I did, but we did get this PlayStation shirt. I think it's my brother's, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, it's just a blue shirt with a PlayStation logo on it, so. We could share it between us, I suppose, but, um... Anyway, the four shirts I have are, um... I got them all from Primark. I got this, uh... This, uh, Space Jam shirt. Which, yeah, I like Looney Tunes. I like this... I like the original Space Jam. It's cringy, yes, but... It's an okay movie, and this actually is pretty big, so it fits me really well. I like baggier stuff. Mainly because it's actually comfier. I'm not really... Big on skin tight stuff like skin tight clothing. It's not comfortable. You feel suffocated. You're fixing it all the time. It's not comfy, but yeah, Space Jam, fun movie, and yeah, cool shirt. So yeah, the and I I bought that and I saw that I and I thought that's probably only in here because of the new Space Jam movie, which I've heard is complete garbage. By the way, so I'll probably not buy. I'll probably not bother watching it. I like the first one. I like the first Space Jam. It's a fun movie. But the new one with LeBron James I heard was absolutely garbage. So, yeah. Um. Anyway, next up we got this set. I think this is the only one that, that needs to be stretched out before I uh, wear it. It's a Moe's. It's a Simpsons shirt. It's Moe's Bar, Springfield, USA. I saw this and I thought, yeah, it's a Simpsons shirt. I might as well. Primark's good for, like, Simpsons. But well, Primark's good for, like, shirts. Like t-shirts and stuff. I have, have some NBA stuff as well. That's where I got the uh, Chicago Bulls, Miami Heat and the Lakers hats. So, yeah, not much to say about that. Just a Simpsons shirt about Moe's Bar. So, yeah. Next up is one that we I probably didn't even... We probably didn't even know we were buying. I just looked in and I saw it and I was like... So, uh, it's, um, it's a Sonic shirt. I have never had a video game t-shirt before. These last year video game t-shirts... Well, I do have a PlayStation t-shirt, but I suppose that counts, so yeah. And I've tried all these on. The only one that doesn't fit me well is the Moe's one. That one's a little tight. All the other ones are fine. This one's a little bit tight, but it's alright. Yeah, it's uh, it's got like, I think, 8-bit Sonic. Yeah, that has to be 8-bit. And it says press start, and then it's got the Sonic logo there. So yeah, um, yeah, cool shirt. I, I love Sonic. I've, I've always wanted like a Sonic t-shirt. And last but not least, the one I was happiest with, and LFC Gamer, you'll be happy that I got this. The final shirt. Oh yes. I've all I, I've wanted a Crash Bandicoot shirt for years as well, like years. So yeah, I saw one in Primark a while ago, but didn't I didn't actually get to buy it. So yeah. But yeah. Um, a Crash Bandicoot t-shirt, can't really go wrong. So I've got two gaming shirts now. Well, three technically. The Sonic, Crash, and the PlayStation shirt. Well, technically two PlayStation shirts. But yeah, um, that's all the t-shirts. I'll just hang them back up quickly. Um, Actually, you know what's great? I'll just throw them into the cupboard. Where's my PlayStation shirt? There you go. Anyway. The DVDs, um, yeah, uh, they're all wrestling DVDs, again, um, well, there's three of them, technically there's four of them, because one of them is, um, well, I'll explain in a minute, I'll just show them now, it's, uh, the first one is this, I mean, I'm kind of out of breath, I apologise, but, <sighs> tagged classics, the, uh, Royal Rumble 2001 and 2002, I watched the 2001 Rumble earlier, yeah, it's good. It's really good. It starts off with a pretty fun match between Edge and Christian, and I mean, it's Edge and Christian and the Dudleys. Yeah, I mean, it's the it's the Dudleys and Edge and Christian. Of course, it's going to be good. And then you got a uh, ladder match for the Intercontinental Title, Chris Benoit and uh, against Chris Jericho. That match was bloody fun. Then you got a women's championship match, Ivory versus China. I think that's where China injured her neck. Well, not injured it, but like re-aggravated it. I think she ended up actually winning the title at the... Hang on. She actually ended up winning the title at WrestleMania 17. So, yeah. 
Um, then you got the WWF Championship match, Kurt Angle and Triple H. Um, also, look at this. This came out in 2009. It's got the WWE, it's got the WWE logo on it. This was uncensored. Like, it, the, like, they didn't censor any of the logos. They didn't censor them saying WWF, which I was very surprised at. I was very surprised that this wasn't, like, censored or anything. Like, these came out the same year. This was censored. This wasn't. This must have came out after they were allowed to use their old logo or something. Yeah, but yeah, you can hear the commentator saying WWF. They don't blur out any of the WWF logos. Anyway, yeah, the title match itself was, um, not gonna lie, it was kind of boring. Um, Austin came in at the end. Uh, Trish and uh, Stephanie ended up fighting for about two, three minutes and... Yeah, it, it was kind of a boring match, I'll be honest. I mean, Triple H and Kurt Angle are great, but that match was kind of boring. And then the Rumble match. Yeah, it was good. Um, Austin won it. I don't really want to... Spo well, I, I just did spoil it, but yeah, Austin wins it. This is the one where Kane eliminated, like, 11 people. So, yeah. Can't wait to watch the 2002 Rumble as well. That'll be good. I think that's the one where Triple H came back. So, yeah. Uh, and the last pay-per-view I bought is... Um, SummerSlam 2006, and SummerSlam is literally this weekend. It's on Saturday. Um, BT Sport are only charging 20 quid for WWE pay-per-views, which I like. Like, imagine staying, like, 20... Like, what would you rather do? Pay 20 quid to watch a WWE pay-per-view, or pay 50 quid to see a boxing match we've waited all year for, and have it last about 20 seconds? I'm here, Khan, I'm looking at you. Anyway, yeah, SummerSlam 2006, I haven't seen it in a... I've only seen like one match, maybe maybe two off this, and it's Edge and Cena. I think I've seen the iQuit match between Ric Flair and Mick Foley before, but yeah. Comes in like a cardboard sleeve as well, but the problem with the cardboard sleeve is, look, it's literally the same package. Like, why would you make a cardboard sleeve and make the packaging literally the, exactly the same? Also, this thing lies. Look. Free mini poster. And look, it's got the insert with the... Um, Matches and everything on it, but no poster. So either they lied, or the guy that sold this probably has a poster in his house or something. But yeah, I've seen uh, the DX and McMahon's stuff as well. It's really fun. That's one of my favorite feuds, DX and the McMahon's. Oh, that was funny. And then Edge and Cena, one of my favorites of all time. Love that feud. And then, speaking of Edge, last DVD here for this video is um, You Think You Know Me, The Story of Edge. It's, it's basically the first disc, This is these three disc sets, you get, a, you get a documentary, and then you get two, or in Stone Cold Steve Austin's case, f three discs worth of matches. Like the first disc, yeah, I like the disc art as well, that's really cool. And also the SummerSlam disc art is, um, I think I've already showed you, but that is the SummerSlam disc art. Kind of cool, cool disc art. And that's all I like have the McMahons have the DX uh, writing over them. And then the tag classics disc art is literally just, they're both the same. I'm still kind of surprised that the 2001 Rumble wasn't censored. But yeah, that, that's the disc art. Pretty, pretty cool disc art, if I'm being honest. Gonna watch the 2002 Rumble tomorrow. I can't wait for that. Hang on, I forgot to put the insert. No, no, hang on. But yeah, um, discs are really cool. And then people argue that. That probably should have been the cover, but yeah, that's WrestleMania 27, I think that is. His last match, well, his last match until 2020. So, yeah, can't wait to watch that. And yeah, I'm going to go and enjoy this. Hang on the hill. I'm going to go and enjoy this stuff, guys, and be kind of frustrated at my draw on pairs earlier, if you haven't seen it. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and yeah, see you next time. I'm going to go and enjoy all this stuff.